Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Overwatch 2 for better FPS and fix lags, stutter, input delay and a lot of other issues in new season 17 dropped recently. This guide will help you to go through all of the best windows settings as well as the best in-game settings to optimize your performance. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, keeping it on does not make any kind of sense. It consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background and disabling that will help you to optimize your PC. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to boost your FPS. Then click on the graphic settings underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games to reduce input latency and then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to utilize your native graphic card to optimize your FPS. After that, click on the add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Just in case if you are unaware of it, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Right over here, simply copy this file path and then you have to paste it right over here. Press enter and then head over to overwatch.exe and then simply click on add. Once that is added, scroll a bit down until you find overwatch application and then you have to click on let windows decide and select high performance over here. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is compatibility settings and for that simply go back to the download location of your game. Right click on Overwatch EXE and then click on the properties button. Head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization. After that click on change high DPI settings and select this option. Click on OK and then apply to ensure that these settings are applied on your PC and once all of that is done, it will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton. After that simply close it. Next step is disabling unwanted animations on your PC. PC. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here, click on adjust for best performance. Then you have to select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All four of these options will help you to minimize the look of your windows as well as reduce unwanted animations while keeping the minimal look intact. After that, click on the apply button. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that, simply search for edit group policy over here and once it opens up, you have to head over to computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. This is the policy where you have to make the changes. Double click to open this up and then click on enabled. This will enable the policy and default for all applications should be set to force deny. Once that is done, click on the apply button and this will set the policy to force deny all of the applications running in the background to save your system's resources. Once that is done, simply close it and ensure that this setting will only be available for Windows Pro users. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then look for your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it OW2 as in Overwatch 2 to ensure that you guys have a image of your system to restore all of your settings back to normal in case of any kind of issues you go through. After that, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is Overwatch 2 season 17 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in six very useful folders over here. The first one is CPU priority, which helps you to optimize the processor. I have left two different folders in here. That is AMD and Intel. According to your processor, you need to double click and apply this registry file, which is inside it. It will help you to optimize your DWORD value for your processor to optimize its performance to the maximum level. Next is RAM optimization, which basically does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC right over here as well. I use 32GB RAM personally, so I need to apply this registry, which I have already done it. But you guys can apply it by simply double clicking on it. And in case of any issues or anything that goes wrong, you can always reset it back to default using this file right over here. Third folder is Overwatch 2 priority in which I have left these three priorities and you need to apply one out of them. And to know that priority, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right away. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless and you guys can disable that to optimize the performance of your PC. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave them as it is and disable every single one of them. 
to optimize the performance of your PC. And in case you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back again. Next is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency fix as well as mouse latency fix. So for your keyboard latency fix, I would need your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to apply. And next is mouse latency in which I have left fix mouse curve which are the settings inspired by the pros. This helps you to set up the correct X and Y curve for your mouse to make the movements on your screen more lifelike. Once that is done, Head over to the last folder which is programs in which I have left these three very useful programs. The first one is clean temporary files .bat. you wanna have to right click on it as administrator. This will ask you to clean all temporary files on your PC. What you have to do is press enter and then it will delete all of the temporary files right away. I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then and it is completely safe to do. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 simply right click on it as administrator. Over here, you'll find a ton of devices that you've connected on your PC, but the one you are looking for is your graphic card. Click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on apply and this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and optimize the performance of your GPU overall. Next is NPARC CPU, which is a very useful tool. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you guys can see enabled and park course right over here. What you have to do is set your system plan to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available for you and slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. This will ensure that none of your cores are parked and all of them are enabled. That means no cores go into sleep mode which will in turn help you to optimize the performance of your games. After that simply close it, close the FPS pack and now you guys can go to the link in the description below and download no ping to fix all of your network issues. It is free to download, you guys can come to the website and download it. Once you open up no ping it should look like this and it offers you over 1000 games to choose from simply search for a game over here and look for overwatch 2 select it and it will auto recommend you the servers nearest to you simply head over to buy country and look for your own country select the nearest server and then click on optimize the game this will help you to one click optimize the performance of your games and improve your ping, network issues, packet loss and a lot of other stuffs. The best part about no ping is the boost FPS button in which it offers you a lot of optimizations. You can simply enable these ones that I have already enabled and once that is done, you guys can also boost your FPS right within this one application. I personally use no ping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and you guys can go check out no ping for yourself as well. Links are down in the description below. And once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Right over here, you'll have to go down to video settings. And then under the video settings, you'll find GPU. Go with your native graphic card and for the API, go with DirectX 12 because that is going to give you the ultimate performance available. If this is causing any kind of FPS drops or instabilities, you can revert it back to DX11 from the game itself. For the display mode, always go with full screen or windowed full screen. Both of them works absolutely fine. For display, you guys can go with a native display and always choose the highest refresh rate available for your display. For the aspect ratio, you can go with your native aspect ratio. FOV, I have gone with 103. Dynamic render scale, I have gone with off. But if you guys have a super low end PC, turn this thing on. For the render scale, keep it custom and then in-game resolution go with 75 or 95 anywhere between these values would be absolutely fine this may make your game a little bit more blurry and choppy but it will increase your fps drastically also for the minimum in-game resolution go with 75 frame rate i have set it to automatic but you guys can set it to custom and for the maximum frame rate slide it all the way to the max vsync triple buffering should be turned off reduced buffering i have turned this thing off as well Nvidia Reflex go with Enable Plus Boost if that is available for you and all three of these options are personal preference. HDR should be turned off. Head over to the graphics quality and in here set it to custom. For the high quality upsampling go with Nvidia DLSS Super Resolution because it is going to give you best performance if you are using an Nvidia graphic card like me. If you have an Intel graphic card, you guys can go with Intel Zest or if you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with FSR 2.2. For the texture quality, go with high, texture filtering quality, medium, local fog detail, low, model detail, medium, shadow detail, off, effects detail, lighting quality and reflection quality, go with low, screenshot quality, 1x, ambient occlusion should be strictly turned off, 
Dynamic reflections should be turned off as well. Local reflections off and damage effects default. Mazarizan, press Y to apply these settings and then restart your game once again to enjoy best performance and best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and a subscription is really appreciated. Hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.